So say you're visiting your favorite video game publisher's website slash online store. You browse a little and then you make a purchase, their newest video game. Then when you close your browser, you obviously have your new video game on your library. But what if you also now have the power to decide what the updates for this game will look like? And you also have a say in where the publisher should look for new ideas for their games. In the developers, mainstream big studios. In addition, you can propose how the profits made by the store are going to be used. Are they being reinvested in marketing or split between the shareholders? And of course, you wouldn't be alone. Others would also be able to propose initiatives and direct how the company will operate. Anyone that buys there can have a say, can help drive the company forward. This decentralized governance is what in its core constitutes a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. Decentralized because anyone, anywhere can participate. Autonomous because a set of automated rules decided by the governors like you will execute on their own, using machines instead of people. It's helpful towards being more efficient and more transparent. Now, this is a stark difference from a company not listening or not caring about its customers' happiness and satisfaction. And instead, it's a more hands-on approach than simply listening to what the community has to say. Bringing it back to our universe, if you change the games in this story for a crypto project's tokens, you have a fairly similar scenario. As in, whoever holds that project's tokens will have a say, will have governing power and a voice on the goals that the project should pursue. DAOs are opening a whole array of possibilities and they usually lead to a win-win scenario where the project success is great for everyone involved. The better the project is doing, the more people become interested in it and are willing to put some skin in the game. Sharing the fees that are made from the use of a protocol's tools among governors is a great example of how the success of a project can benefit those chiming in. So it's not really a surprise to see many decentralized projects opting for the DAO approach. Aave is a perfect case study, as it even has two different levels of decentralized governance. The first one being the governance of the Aave protocol itself, where the proposal power is measured by the amount of land tokens being held. And then a second level that governs the Aave lending pools, where the amount seated on the pool dictates the decision-making power one has. And Aave is not the only big name adopting the DAO approach. We have famous examples in Compound, Curve, MakerDAO, to name only a few. We at Pillar have presented our very own decentralized governance and tokenomics upgrade that is already taking its first steps in our Discord server. There is a link to it down there in case you hold Pillar tokens and wish to make proposals, vote and help direct the project. More and more projects are following these steps, coming up with governance tokens and giving people that use their services and applications a say, a voice. Uniswap, for example, have unleashed their governance token, Uni, and seems to be following the trend. We made a video about their token that you can watch right here. Thanks for watching.